Over here we have lots of empty lines equals 16, something times something equals 16. And your task is to find those numbers, two numbers that when multiplied give you 16. And there are many possible answers, okay? Now, maybe one that comes to mind easily is 2 times something, because it's an even number. 2 times 8. What else equals 16? Maybe you find 4 times 4, I hope so. What else? There's always the 1 times the number itself. Okay, 1 times 16 equals 16. And then over here, we have the same, but with 48. Again, you can find many different possibilities. What times what equals 48? In what table was 48? It's not in the table of 11, but in what table that we have studied is it in? It's in several ones. For example, in the table of 4, 4 times 12. It is also in the table of 6, 8 times 6. And it is an even number, so we can surely write it as something times 2 or 2 times something. 2 times what number? 24. And then there's yet more. I don't have space, but I can tell you that we would have 1 times 48 equals 48. And we would also have 3 times 16 equals 48. Okay. Here's a word problem about mathy. Tomato plants cost $5 each, and then pepper plants cost $3 each. Mathy buys four tomato plants and six pepper plants. What is his total cost? Can you tell me? Can you also tell me a number sentence for me to write about the total cost? How about Mathy? Can you tell me? Can you write it in purple? Matthew buys four tomato plants, okay? Four tomato plants. Let's write the cost of those, right? Four tomato plants, right? Yes, and then... Exactly. Four times five dollars for the tomato plants. And then... Then we add something. What do we add, Matthew? Oh yeah, the pepper plants. Matthew buys six pepper plants, and each one costs three. Good job, Matthew. And now, how do you solve that one? You multiply. This one is 20. This one is 18. And 20 plus 18, you should get $38. Okay. Over here, Ashley bought some tomato and some pepper plants. Her total cost was $30. How many pepper plants did she buy? She bought some tomato and some pepper plants, and her total cost was 30 So how many pepper plants did she buy? At first, this sounds like that you cannot solve it, that there's not enough information. But let's try. The idea is for us to guess and check. Just make a guess, and since we're going to make many guesses, I'm going to write here a table to help organize our thoughts. Let's put here the tomato plant. And let's say if she would buy one tomato plant, and then the cost, the cost for one tomato plant is five. And then the pepper plant. and the cost of pepper plants, then over here the total. Okay, you see the idea? I, if I guess that she buys one tomato plant, then the cost of that is $5. And the total has to be 30, so the pepper plants would need to cost 25, right? The pepper plants were $3 each. So, how many pepper plants would she have bought? So that the total for the pepper plants would be 25. So many times $3 will never make 25. Because 25 is not in the table of 3. 
So this will not work, okay? This first idea. And then I can try two tomato plants. Total cost would be 10. And so for the pepper plants we would need $20, right? But again, so many times $3 never equals 20. You can pause the video now and try to solve this yourself, right? Now you know the idea. As it's gone, what if there's three tomato plants? $15 for the tomato plants and $15 for the pepper plants. Aha! Now this will work because I could buy, f or she could buy, five pepper plants and the total would be 30. But is there another solution? Maybe buying four tomato plants? That would be 20. And here 10. No, that will not work. And five tomato plants. 25 here and five over here. But this will not work either. So the only solution is over here. Three tomato plants and five pepper plants. Okay, all done with this lesson.